Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Before entering new vendors into your company file, you should ensure that you have the vendor default set as desired to prevent having to enter repetitive data values into each new vendor record you create. You can access this information by selecting Maintain from the menu bar, rolling down to Default Information, and then choosing Vendors from the side menu that appears. The Vendor Defaults window is where you store information that is common to most of your vendors and purchase transactions. These are the default settings applied to each new vendor record when you create them. Therefore, you will want to set the most common settings given to you by vendors. You can always override your default settings on a per vendor basis when you create the actual vendor records later if necessary. So in the vendor defaults window, you can click the payment terms tab to set up the standard terms for payment applied to the majority of invoices that you receive from your vendors. Here is where you set the default general ledger purchase account number, discount purchase account number, any discount allowances, and also set a standard credit limit to use by default for all vendors. Specifying these terms allows you to set what are then referred to as the standard terms given to you by your vendors. Now on the Account Aging tab, you set the default aging settings used for the bills received from your vendors. You select whether your purchase invoices should be aged by invoice date or by due date and also set the brackets used for aging payables. You can set up to five additional fields for maintaining custom information on your vendors within the Custom Fields tab. You define what data to record here and then fill in the desired values for each new vendor record when you later create it. On the 1099 Settings tab, you define the way that Peachtree reports and tracks payments made to 1099 vendors. For any accounts used for vendor 1099 payments, you can specify which calculation setting to use from the drop-down that's available. When you're finished creating your vendor defaults, simply click the OK button to apply them. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.